So we're on our sixth week of being mm. together. Um, so we're going to start our Jesus time uh, at the table. And I'm still on the bus, we go lay your canoe. And you know, Dioch, do um, have a think about what's mm. happened this week that you want to say thank you for. Basically, dig with Ruth and Han. You've had some babies. Yes, you've been yeah. playing with your babies, lots with your dollies. And this. And this one. Fringe. 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 So I'm going to light the candle and after three, we're going to start. Thank you, God, for ready. One, two, three. Thank you, God. 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 Thank you, Brilliant. So we're going to move ours out of the way so nobody knocks it over because you two are a little bit of a liability. So we've been thinking about Jesus saying, I am. No. All kinds of different things. Yeah. We're going to see if we can remember them all now. So Richard's going to share the mm -hmm. screen and see if we can remember them. Who can remember what was the first one? I, 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 I am the door. I am the door. And who can remember? How do we do how do we do this the sign for door? We open the door. No, Ethan, that's not door, is it? We open the door. Very good. I am the door. Maybe you would do first the roof not wedding. What came the following week? I am the bread. I am the bread. I am the bread. Well done, maybe you barar bowed. I am the bread of life. When we cut the bread on our hand, we slice the bread, maybe you barar bowed. What was the third week? I am the light. I am the light of the world. Oh, very well. These two have got it, maybe you. I am the light of the world. Maybe you got laney beads. Our Uthnos wedding, there were three things the following week. Following week. What were they? I am the way, the truth, way. and the light. Light. Well done, Diane King. Cog on that. You're remembering well. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And then that was four of them. And then last week, what we had Bishop Andy join us. Let's go, Andy. Good evening. I heard this guy. Yes, he played me. Be you, shepherd. A big guy, old dark. Me remember. So we had a good shepherd. I'm the good shepherd. In that, we thought about Jesus looking after us and keeping us safe. So we're going to do a bit of a challenge now. And I asked some of you, if you wanted to, to have a blanket ready called Blanket and Barod. So, Sophia, we're going to wrap you up in a blanket to keep you safe. Ooh. Yeah, we're going to wrap you up in a blanket to keep you safe. So when, when we want to look after something that's safe, when we want to keep something safe, we tend to wrap it in bubble wrap. Or we put something nice and warm around. We do all kinds of things to keep safe. So if you've got a blanket handy, can you wrap your person up in a blanket? Oh yeah, we do it with you two like in after bath time. Don't we? we wrap you up in a towel, but we use bubble wrap, don't we? When the postman brings things to keep things safe. So Sophia's got, Sophia's being wrapped up, and I can see. Oh, Chloe. Yeah. Oh, Anwen's being wrapped up, and Angela's wrapped herself up. And make sure it's nice and tight to keep yourself proper, proper, proper safe. And I've got a game here for Sophia. So while you're wrapped up nice and safe, can you sort out the llamas in pajamas? You're right. Can you do it? Yeah. Can you sort out the llamas in pajamas? Here you go. Can you sort them out? Oh, yeah. Where are your hands? Can you do it? He, hold on. You hold can't on. do it. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Where are they? All right, all right, here. Can you get them at the top? Oh, I can see them. Can you sort out the I've got one. What have one. we got? Can Ethan, can you do, do some star that? jumps for right. me? And what can, let's see, can Anne all Wendy do right. some star jumps wrapped in her blanket? Oh, and what about Rihanna and Owen? Can you do some, can you run around the room wrapped in your blankets? Okay. Well, you, Georgie, Georgie, can can Georgie do some twinkle, twinkle little stars for me? Can you do twinkle, all wrapped up in your blanket? Can you do it? Oh, okay, mum. What can you do, Ethan, wrapped in your blanket? 
Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan. Come and see if you can. Ethan's going to build us a tower. We're going to wrap him up nice and safe in his blankets. Ready? Come on. We're going to wrap him up, and we've got some. We've got some clips here ready to help hold the blanket in place, so he's nice and safe and can't get out. Ready? Go on, Daddy. Wrap him up. Hold on. Stand still for me. <laughs> He's giggling a lot at the moment. Right, Connie Ethan, and I've got some I've got some blocks here. Ethan, while you're all wrapped up nice and safe, can you build us a tower? <laughs> Look, there you go. Ah. <laughs> no, you got to be, you're not safe if your arms are out there. <laughs> don't that work. <laughs> Maybe you could just use your mouth. Yeah. Maybe you could use your mouth instead of your arm. Get your arm back in there. Well, ah! Get your arm in. That's it. That's Why fine. You can... <laughs> can you do it while you're being kept safe? Well done. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Is it working? <laughs> I'm quite glad you can't see more of this. How are we getting on over there? What have oh. we done? Did we have no one manage to run around the room? It, or can you draw me a picture if you've got some pens and pencils handy? Try that one. We couldn't do star jumps, could we? Couldn't move. Couldn't do star jumps. No. Had to take the blanket off. What yeah. about giving somebody okay, can can you give oh, mummy yeah. a cuddle while you're all wrapped up nice and safe in your blanket? Can you give mummy a cuddle? Come on. Oh. 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 Can you do it? I am tea. I want to build a castle. You want to build a castle? Can you do it while you're all wrapped up nice and safe? Look, oh no, look, this bit's coming undone. I need to wrap that bit a bit safer. <laughs> I need to <some> help. <laughs> Can you do it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. It's all covered in Ethan's lover. <laughs> what do we think then? What do we okay, think? Stop, stop trying. Stop a minute. Listen, no, listen, no, listen, listen. You can have another go later. No. Show the screen again, Richard. There's a nice picture. Oh, for us yeah, to see. Here well, we go. Rather than this face that's going all oh, miserable God. now, let's put this picture up instead. So we've just done the blanket challenge. Pair a blanket. Was it easy to do those things we were asking you to do while you were all wrapped up and kept nice and safe? I don't think Ethan found it very easy to build a tower, and Sophia couldn't build, play her game. Could you could you give cuddles and do star jumps and run around the room while you were all wrapped up safe? No. It was really difficult, wasn't it? So when Jesus said that he's the good shepherd and that he keeps us safe, do you think he meant that he was... Does he keep us too safe? Does he wrap us up in bubble wrap and not let us do anything? Because I think I say all the time to Ethan and Sophia, you dare do that. Or, oh, no, 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 don't, don't go too fast. Oh, just you be careful. Do you think Jesus keeps us safe in a way that means that we can't do anything, that we're too safe? What do you think? Does Jesus keep us too safe? and stop us being able to do the things that we want to be able to do because he's wrapped us up too tightly in, in, in cotton wool and in bubble wrap. What do you think? Um, what, do you think? Mm. what do you think? Does Jesus keep us too safe no. and not being able to do things? No. Well, <laughs> he keeps the, he keep the church, but he, keep, he doesn't keep us. He doesn't keep us too safe. <laughs> Does he keep us too safe? But Jesus came and he said something else. Jesus said, I am Richard, the resurrection and the life. And the resurrection and the life. And elsewhere in the Bible, in John chapter 10, Jesus says, I have come that they may have life and life to the Oh, Jesus wants us to have the most amazing life. He wants to keep us safe and protect us, but he doesn't tie us up and stop us being able to do the things we want to do. There are going to be some pictures on the screen. I wonder which ones you think you might prefer. Let's have the next pictures up, Richard. Ready, go. So which room would you most like to go and spend some time in? Past yeah. that, if you're in Garai. Party room. 
We've got a party room on the left. Anyone. Party, party room, <laughs> left room. The party room or the empty room? That one. Right, um, right, um, party room. The party room. That looks like far more fun than the other one, doesn't it? With a book. Right, right, right. Um, hey. Yeah, make Ethan wants to go and do some building in the empty room. <laughs> That's a good way typical, of looking at typical. it. Very typical. Okay, what about the next one? Which which park would you like to go to? Uh, the the one. left one. The you left. With all yeah. the slides and all the towers. Yes. Different things it's rather than a slide. I can't tell if it's meant to be a climbing frame or a. I'm not entirely sure what that one. It doesn't look very much fun, does it? I don't want to slide down it. That's for sure. <laughs> bump, 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 bump. Doesn't look very good, does it? Okay, there's, there's another one. Which yeah, garden would I you like to play in? I think that one. The one that's empty. Which yeah. is the next garden? The empty. The empty one or the one with flowers? The <laughs> left <laughs> one because there's more place for football. <laughs> the empty one because there's more space to run around. Oh, oh interesting. It's about having fun. About having fun. I prefer the one that's full of flowers because I think it's more colourful. And there probably are places to play football in that one, although maybe maybe not, not near the not, roses. Not near the roses and the peonies. No, no. Okay, it's lunchtime. Which meal do you want? Do you want the one on the left that's got meat and cheese and jams and pickles and fruit, fruit and all sorts of things? Or do you just want a <laughs> slice of bread? Slice of bread. Yeah. <laughs> Banana. So apples. Bananas and apples. Do you want this one for you? Yep. The one on the left with all piece the of bread. Piece of bread left. Piece of bread left. Piece of bread. Piece of bread. Oh my goodness me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, Jesus said that I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Do you ready, Georgie? Right. Bowedy bobola. Ahunun bowed are arai. We've lost the bit of the bottom mm, yeah. of that one from John 10, 10. So Jesus says that he has come to give us the best life possible, life to the full. And that doesn't mean when we write our letter to Sean Carden at Christmas that we get everything we want. And we can't just say to Jesus, give me everything I want. That's not what he says. He doesn't give us everything we possibly want. He's not going to tick off our list for us. There's still going to be times when we're sad. And there are still going to be times that we're hurt and still times that we get upset and times that we don't like and things that we wish didn't happen. There's still going to be those times. But Jesus came to give us life because Jesus is the life. And if we believe in him, then he gives us life and we can live our lives the best way possible because Jesus has beaten death when he died on the cross. Mm -hmm and came alive again, which is what he means by the resurrection when he died and came alive again. Yeah. So we're going to stop sharing screen a minute. Yep. And I'm going to see now, I asked you, I think, to get some string or some ribbon or something. Um, if everybody's got a piece of string or a piece of ribbon or a piece of rope or something, And this is our prayer time. Ethan. Off your face, please. Off your face to listen to what Daddy, have you got one? Um, Richard, yeah. there you are. And so what we're going to do this is our prayer time. We're going to think about Jesus giving us the best life. And so we're going to start. We're going to start with our hand. And not we're not going to do it very tightly. Dimri din. I mean, wrap your accordion. We're going to wrap, up, wrap it around our hands so that our hands, just put your hand like that. That's it. We're going to wrap it around. And as we wrap it round, think about the things that tie us up, that stop us being able to live the best life. What kind of things might those be? They might be things like um, sadness. And when we're poorly, those are the things that stop us being able, able to live our best life, aren't they? What, what are the kind of things, Richard, can you think about some of the things while I go and find out what's wrong with the What? Oh dear. Um, I'm trying to think. Well, when, when, um, uh, when things like floods and fires happen, when disasters happen, that's really sad, isn't it? And that stops us living our best life, doesn't it? 
so things like that as they are wrapped around us that stop life being as good as it can possibly be. Here we go. And then we can remember that Jesus has given us a life to the full and he's beaten all of those things that tie us up. So now we're going to unwrap our hands and say, thank unwrap. you, Jesus, that you are the resurrection and the life. With and we've got fingers. our hands. We can unwrap. wiggle our fingers. Unwrap so you can wiggle. Unwrap so you can wiggle. Please. Unwrap so you I know you like tying things together, don't you? You can tie it up again later. Take it off for now. Yeah, thank you. Go. And now you can wiggle your fingers. Now you can wiggle you. your fingers. As a way of saying thank you. So we should try that one more time. So we'll wrap them up and think about all the things that tie us up and stop us being able to have the best life possible. And then we say, thank you, Jesus. Diolch, Yesi, my tea, you are ask a vodiad ar bywyd. And then can we do it? Yeah, men, finish it. Amen. Amen. Oops. Ethan, do you want to blow out our candle for us? <laughs> go on, go. Try again. <laughs> there we go. So we've been learning some signs to help us remember all of these, haven't we? And we've got I am the door. Can you do them with mommy? I am the second. bread. Let go, please. I Thank am you. the light. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the good shepherd. And the last one we've just learned now is I am, and you have this, and you get a, get a little mat, get some legs. I am the truth. I am the resurrection. Oh, yeah. So you, he starts underneath, I am the resurrection. Yeah. So he goes, and I am the resurrection yeah. and the life. We've done that one before, haven't we? I am the resurrection and the life. Let's see if we can do all those from the start together. Oh, my goodness. Ready? So, I am the... Drus. Mavi u barar bowit. Mavi u golenir feet. Mavi u a ford. A gwir ar bowit. Mavi u a... Be guile, da, da. Ma vi yw yr atgyfodiad ar bywyd. Brilliant. We can think about Jesus keeping us safe, Jesus showing us the way, Jesus keeping us safe, but giving us life in all its fullness, in all its colour, in all its amazingness. So this week... This week, while we go through, because it's Holy Week, this week is a special week, Uthnos Ar Benig, Uthnos and Arwain at Pask. So have a think this week. What are you doing this week that means you're living your best life? How are you living life to the full? What is Jesus helping you to do this week that means you're living life to the full? And if you want to, as you go through your week, every time you think of something, get a nice big piece of paper and draw you in the middle. To put, draw a picture of you in the middle of a piece of paper and as you go through your week and think of all the amazing things that Jesus is doing for you and has got for you and amazing things in your life. Draw them or write them or, or do something on your piece of paper if you want to make something this week. Thank you for joining us today. It's been lovely to see everybody. We, we've got our extra session next week, one more week when we're going to be together. And we're going to think a little bit more about the resurrection part of today's I Am. Today. We've looked at the life part of today. So the resurrection at Askevaj, I'm going to look more at that next Sunday because it's Easter, the seal of Pasch. Lovely to see everybody. Nice to have you with us. And we look forward to seeing you next week.